11 minutes to 8 GMT, tens of thousands of people in Afghanistan are estimated to be addicted to drugs, especially heroin. And the depressing detail at the heart of a new documentary is the claim that around 40% of these addicts are women and children. The film is called, straightforwardly enough, Addicted in Afghanistan, and it focuses on two teenagers, teenagers Jabbar and Zahir, living in Kabul. When the film's director, Jawed Taiman, and the producer, Sharon Ward, joined us in the studio, I suggested that most news stories focus on the international spread of heroin from Afghanistan, not on the damage it does at home. It's quite a huge problem in Afghanistan itself. In the capital, Kabul, we have f around 50,000 drug addicts. So you can imagine in a small city, you know, 50,000 drug addicts are a lot. And it's not just men of adult age or over 20s, but children as young as um, five or six years of age as well. How does a five-year-old get addicted? It's actually because their parents are drug addicts and they smoke in the house or they take opium. So that's how it spreads over to the children. If a child gets ill, they give them a little tiny bit of opium just to make them sleep and get relieved from the pain. And then that builds up? That builds up and gets to an addiction stage. And Sharon, what has that done to the families that you've, you've seen? Because there's no access to doctors, they can't get hold of medicine. So that's a big reason why they start taking opium. And then it just escalates from there. In fact, Jabbar and Zahir talk about their addiction in the film. Tell, and tell so, us a bit about so, that. Yeah, well, Jabbar and Zahir are two 14-, 15-year-old boys who basically started taking opium from about the age of eight. And then basically they ended up coming into Kabul where they could no longer find opium, but there was lots of heroin. What's being done, Joan? What's being done by the new Kabul government, by their international allies? From what I see, not much has been done, to be honest. I mean, there are, I think, 50 drug treatment centres now around Afghanistan. When I was making the film, there were around 20, but now there are around 50. So it's got a bit of recognition anyway. It's, uh, mo it's moving yeah. forward. It's moving forward, but for over a million addicts with hospitals, which has 20 or 25 beds... It's, it's not. And once they get treated, there's no alternative for them. There's no rehabilitation. Yeah. So it's easy to, to so, backslide. So you go in for two weeks for a detox. That's great. But there's no programs after that. So what do you do when you come out of detox? You go back into your old lifestyle. You go back to the same house and they immediately relapse and take drugs again. And it's happened over and over again with Jabbar and Zahir and Zahir's mother, Sabira, and, you know, all the family members who are all addicted to Gulpari, who's the sister of Zahir, who was 12 when she was first an addict, mm. is now an addict again. There's one extraordinary moment, uh, Jawad, where Jabbar says, look, I'm reduced to this life with this pipe. And if the Americans hadn't come in, I wouldn't be in this predicament. If the Taliban was still around because they hate drugs, I would never be in this mess. Is that a fair comment or is he just displacing his tragedy elsewhere? It's, uh, I can say it's a fair comment because what he means, if I can rephrase it, is I think by the end of the Taliban regime, Mullah Omar announced on a Sharia radio that from tomorrow any form of narcotics is banned and it was banned, just one sentence. And now we have 42 countries in Afghanistan and they're tackling this problem and they're not succeeding. So what he means by saying that is that the newly democratically elected government which has come with the help of the US or, or the Allied forces hasn't helped to tackle it. It's gone over 100%, if I can say. Have you, uh, either of you come up with a theory as to why this uh, attempt is failing so badly a lot of government officials are involved in the drug trade themselves so it's a mafia if i can say which sort of runs this trade and it's very difficult to to get rid of them and and uh, you can easily buy for a pound if i can say a sachet of heroin anywhere on the streets of Kabul. but to be realistic how many people do you think genuinely wish for the return of the Taliban to sort out problems like this. Not, it's not a real No, trend. no, people don't wish for Taliban. It is, it's not just like Taliban didn't just tackle the drug problem, but there were other issues that they were not happy about. I mean, in general, people are happy the way mm. life is going on. They wouldn't want the return of Taliban, I wouldn't say. Jawad Taiman, the director, also with us in the studio, the producer, Sharon Ward. Find out more about this excellent film on the website, addictedinafghanistan.com.